Mark, good to see you again. Um, sadly, in the end, no game for you uh, at Gillingham. Um, wow. How did that at all impact how you've gone about preparations for, for this week and your training plan? Um, well, ideally, we would like to have played. Uh, we felt it was uh, obviously a good opportunity. They, there are a period in their season where they're, they're struggling somewhat, so uh, we thought it was a good opportunity to get back on track. But uh, we weren't able to play the game. Clearly, that's a consequence of things we can't control, so uh, you have to accept it and uh, then you just build for, for the next game of the weekend. How does it then change how you go about your, your plan for the week, shall we say? Um, well, it's pretty much similar to uh, how we'd uh, structure the week. Um, the problem we've had this week, obviously, is not getting, being able to get on any grass surfaces, which uh, ideally you don't want to have to do. So uh, uh, once again, thankfully, we've, we've got the option of the 4G pitch here, which is, is a god, godsend uh, during periods like this. So we've been able to do some good work, but um, yeah, ideally you would like to, to get some time on the grass, but um, yeah, it's difficult. So obviously we, we contemplated, as we've done in the past, going to the stadium maybe. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, just prior to the game, but given how the surface is at the moment, well, I think we'll probably forego that because um, I think there is a risk if we do do any kind of work on the pitch, maybe tomorrow, then they might compromise not only the, the pitch for Saturday, but actually uh, further down the road. So it's, it's got to last all year, so uh, that would be our concern. So uh, we might have to. Uh, Obviously, get back on the, the plastic again and then make sure we're ready. You probably answered my next question then, which is have you had any indication at all about whether Saturday is going to be okay or not? I think I think there's quite confidence. Uh, obviously, we want the game on. Yeah. Uh, we need the game on. We want to get back playing. It seems an age since we, <laughs> we last played. So uh, we want to play it. So that's the intention and everybody's working to that end. Um, I think it's actually a little bit... Uh, warmer, if you believe that, <laughs> than uh, I'm actually experienced where I live. So uh, um, I think come Saturday, uh, it might uh, it might be a little bit warmer than we've been experiencing of late, and uh, that's going to help, obviously. I, they, there has to be a little bit of concern about the game, but I, I think, um, given everybody's pushing towards the end, I think, I think it's almost certain to go on. You're right to say that, of course, these are elements that are completely mm -hmm. out of your control. But as a manager, how frustrating, annoying is it that you can't get that, that string of games going again? It's rather stop-start at the moment. A little bit, yeah. But like I said, you can't do anything about it. You just uh, accept that that's the situation that you, you're confronted with. And like I said, you just adjust accordingly and um, we move on to the next one. Uh, busy period coming up, obviously, just over Christmas. So... Uh, uh, we need to prepare for that and, and be in good nick, which we will do. But uh, yeah, it's it's difficult. Obviously, you, you lose games and then you, you haven't played for a number of days and then uh, you'll have one game in isolation and then there's another break and then all of a sudden your Christmas period comes and you've got three, three and four or five days. So um, that's how the, the calendar is panning out for us at the moment. So um, we'll get on with it. It's, it's not a huge issue. It's... it's the circumstances that are presented to us, so um, we'll get on with it. I suppose one benefit is that it gives you a little bit more time to welcome players back that have been absent. So on on that strand, how is Romney Critchlow, and will he be in your thoughts on Saturday? Yeah, Rom looks okay. Um, we were a little bit concerned, obviously, getting him out on uh, on the plastic, but he's come through that. So uh, yeah, he he should be. Are in touch with any issues uh, from today and, and tomorrow. Um, he should be available for selection, so uh, that's that's good news for us. Um, everybody else um, is looking in fine fettle, so uh, yeah, we'll be pretty strong. So Tyreek's okay. I know there's a little bit of concern. Tyreek uh, has, hasn't trained fully with with the squad, but um, he's just been introduced. Uh, into the early part of the session and then dropped out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we see how he is tomorrow. Um, he, the, 
the hope is that he completes a full train session then then I'll make a decision um, in terms of the game at the weekend but um, it looks good it looks strong um, saying the right things so that's always encouraging just on Romney how big a boost is that for you to, to welcome him back yeah I think um, Rom up to this point has had a really good season and um, and given his style and the way he, way he plays the games he, he gives a, a little bit of calmness and uh, um, and not a great deal phases it on on and off the pitch um, so he's he's quite laid back but that's not to say it diminishes what, what he offers he's he's a very accomplished player and I think sometimes that helps the guys around him that uh, he shows that calmness in possession which we want and uh, I think that uh, that has helped us this year mm. One player that we know won't be available is your latest addition not until at least the 1st of January Kieran Kelly just tell us a little bit more about him and, and why you've decided to bring him in Well Kieran is uh, someone we've we've watched for uh, quite a little bit of time and um, everything we've seen in terms of uh, how he goes about his business and, um, and the type of player he is uh, has been really impressive for us so uh, uh, there was a lot of interest and uh, we felt it was in our interest and uh, thankfully we were able to convince Kieran that it was in his interest to, to sign for us and uh, we think we've got a good player he's, he's obviously not available at the moment and he's actually missed a lot of training so he's not going to be ready anytime soon but um, we felt it was important that we got him off the line because like I said there was quite a lot of interest in him. What qualities does he bring to your squad? Well he's, he's got good physicality, he's a, he's, he's a big guy, he's, uh, he's left sided uh, which is always a, a plus because um, that can give you bounce um, uh, in that back four he's, he's quite aggressive, he's uh, He's a player that likes to step in um, and join in as well. So um, we feel he's a really talented player. Uh, we think he can make the step into the uh, EFL. Um, but time will tell on that. But we, we have every confidence that uh, the ability he's shown up to this point will allow him to, to be a success for us. When we talk about Romani's qualities, do the qualities that Kieran brings to this squad correspond with how you want to play in your style? Yeah, he's, uh, he's he's not here to replace anybody. He's he's here to compete with the guys that are here already. So uh, that's what he'll do. But uh, we feel he's he's a player that will uh, make us stronger in terms of uh, the group. So um, really looking forward to him getting up to speed and and getting some game time. And uh, I think uh, then everybody can see what myself and uh, the recruitment uh, staff have seen in him. I think people will be pleasantly surprised in, in the ability that he's got. You said he's, he's not here to replace anybody. I think that will put some City fans at ease. I think quite a few jumped to conclusion that maybe Romney might be recalled by Huddersfield Town. Nothing in that from your perspective at all? No, that's very unlikely. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, moving on to Rochdale, then. Yeah, just talk to us about what your, your feelings and thoughts are about them as a side. Yeah, they're, they're having a little bit of a struggle, clearly. Uh, not where they want to be in the league, but uh, as I keep on saying, they, all the teams in this league have got, got threats, and if you, you're not um, conscious of those threats or they haven't been highlighted to you and you're unaware of them, then uh, they can catch out. So uh, we've got, obviously, uh, today we've we focused more on what we're going to do at the weekend, and then tomorrow, once again, we'll, we'll highlight individuals that we're going to go up against and uh, the lads will be fully briefed but for my part it's, it's more about what we're going to do yeah. uh, the opposition is there we will understand totally what threats they do possess but uh, from our point of view it's about us performing well and um, and getting back to winning ways um, I think we're, we're in decent shape in terms of personnel uh, I've got a lot of options uh, good options and um, as, as before the Gillingham game um, we're all looking forward to it. That didn't happen, so uh, let's hope it does at the weekend. Feel sure it will, um, and we'll be pleased about that because we're we're all desperate to to get back playing. Yeah, and a repetitive point I appreciate, but 
good to be back at home and once again an opportunity to get that first win back at home in a, in a short while. Yep, yeah, we haven't done it on uh, too many occasions of late and um, yeah, we've always said about the importance of our home form, so uh, it's a real opportunity um, to get back on track, so it's up to us to make sure we take it. Talk about the good options that you have going forward. Uh, we had the opportunity to speak to one of those today in the form of Andy Cook, arguably your most potent threat in that uh, final third. Um, How did that go? So, uh, it was uh, it was interesting. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, always a breath of fresh air, Andy. Um, we spoke about his goal scoring record and exploits this season. Um, Fifty percent of your league goals have come from Andy Cook. Mm -hmm. Is that an area that you want to improve? Well, ideally, we we want goals from from all areas if if we can. We we think at set plays we've we've had really good opportunities. Haven't taken as many as as we should. We've we've been able to convert obviously from set players and he's been a big part of that as well um, but we need obviously to convert uh, good opportunities where we've created space and time uh, with our set play work uh, we haven't actually got the finish so that's certainly an area um, we expect our, our white guys to contribute as well which they have yeah. um, but they, that will continue we feel right till the end of the season so I think all those players in those wider positions will finish the season with decent totals um, and maybe from midfield areas as, as well. Um, clearly we've uh, had different personnel and we've got personnel coming back as well. Um, I think that will help that situation. Like so Jamie Walker, obviously, uh, who likes to play in that number 10 position. He will always be a goal threat for us. So well, I'm not too concerned, if I'm honest. Yeah, ideally you'd want the, the spread right through the team, uh, right from the off, but um, I feel when we look back on the season, we look back and think, yeah, there's been a decent return from most areas of the team. So with that in mind, then I suspect it's not an area that you're looking to improve with the January window on the horizon? Only, only as much as if something presents itself. I've said this to you before, if, if it makes sense and, and we can do it and it's, it's right for the club and the team, then we'll look at it closely. But uh, there's nothing in the offering at the moment. Um, we just have to see it's, it's early in. We start to get calls about players and, and opportunities for, for other teams to, to have conversation about our players. So those conversations are starting now, as you'd imagine, leading into January. So we'll, we'll see what turns up. Um, there will be opportunities that we'll discuss and they, they may well be ones that you think, yeah, let's, let's do that one because uh, that will improve us. And it's always with the intention at the end of the window, come the end of January, you're better than you were at the beginning. So uh, uh, we'll endeavour to, to be that, that group of players, hopefully. In terms of outgoings or potential outgoings, I know you've spoken recently about the possibility of players going out on loan to maybe get some more minutes. Are those conversations at all taking place? Have they started? Um, not into any great depth or any detail, but uh, yeah, we we're constantly looking um, at the strength in, in the squad and uh, what we feel uh, we need to do. So, guys going out on loan obviously is, is part of that conversation. So, uh, nothing, nothing's been decided yet. We'll, uh, we've got time enough to, to really to make decisions on that. And um, like I said, we will endeavour to try and be stronger at the end of the window if we can. And, that may well involve players going out just to uh, uh, make sure the numbers are right in the squad. So uh, uh, we're we'll waiting to see all that. Have players approached you about it? Our players? Yeah. No, no, none at all. Um, I'm sure there'll be, if we do business, sometimes players look at their situation and think, well, maybe opportunity is going to be um, few and far between. So that's usually when, when I get a couple of knocks on the door and um, and I'll have, try and have honest co conversations with, with guys that maybe need to go out and play. But uh, uh, we're not at that point yet. Thanks, Mark. Obviously, Mark, you mentioned Romney there, and you sort of said it's very unlikely that Huddersfield will do anything. I mean, when you've got loan players, obviously Scott Banks, Dion Pereira again, and you're going into January, is there always a sort of a that that deal that something might suddenly change in terms of they might suddenly say, hang on, we want to well, they, you back? They might do. We, we, we try and make sure that uh, we protect ourselves in, in that regard because you don't want that to happen, obviously, if they're playing week in, week out. So, um, but at the end of the day, the, the players are 
are lone players and they're not our players. Um, clearly, their parent club will have a say, but um, I think well, we haven't been told any different. Uh, all the, the clubs that we've got players on loan from, uh, they're happy f for them to be here. Uh, we're a good option for, for any any team that wants to place their players that uh, they will think will develop as they come here. So um, that hasn't changed and doesn't change with the guys that are on loan at the moment. And presumably the players themselves, you know, someone like Ollie, he's been playing regularly. Yeah. He'll probably have that attachment from playing regularly with the mm -hmm. team, won't he? Because he, he sort of feels very much part of that team. Yeah, yeah, and Romney's had a, a real am impact for us and uh, we're, we're pleased with what he's producing. So, uh, yeah, I don't have any, any qualms about that. Very confident Romney will be with us. And obviously, you talk about the stop start, disjointed sort of way it's been the last few weeks. Is that a bit of a challenge to keep the players focused? Because obviously, they're building up for a game and then it suddenly gets wiped away and suddenly you've got to start again. And no, but because that's the reality, that's how we, we work anyway. You, you play the game um, and then that's out of the way, then you start another week building into a different game. Um, so the fact we didn't play it, that, that was a difference, but uh, the actual work following that cancellation would have been very similar to, to what we, we've done this week, just because we, we, we finished that period and then we looked at the next one. So uh, um, the fact that we've missed one game doesn't really impact on us too much. We, we just move on to the next. It's, it's, it's the momentum more than anything. And you've had yeah, the, the, the blank Saturday. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, I get that. You, you want to be playing week in, week out. And um, yeah, it's not as it was early in the season where they seem to be Tuesday, Tuesday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Tuesday. And, uh, we're having breaks on the calendar, and then all of a sudden there's obviously the Christmas period, and you get games concertinated in a in short space of time. But. Um, no, we, that's what we face. A lot of teams are in a similar situation to us. It's, it's up to us to make sure we make the best of it. Obviously, getting back to Valley Pride the first time in a month, it's seen, mm. it's seen seems a like while, forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's important that we, we get back uh, to winning ways at Valley Parade. It's, um, it's really important uh, in terms of what we want to do. We've emphasised it right from the off. Um, and I just sense that the lads are ready to go again and um, start turning uh, our form at home um, to a better place. And uh, I think for the most part, we've done okay at home in terms of periods and games, but we've had periods obviously where we've um, not quite been at our level, and that's when we've more often than not we've conceded, and that's hurt us. So uh, we've just got to be better in those moments and, and recognise. That momentum that we always talk about when it just goes against you, you just got to dig in and just keep the status quo and then go again when it turns the other way. So, um, yeah, I think the, the lads understand that and, and need to, to work to make sure that uh, we're strong, we're strong enough, and uh, we capitalize when we get opportunities ourselves. Um, I'm expecting really good performance. I've been pleased with the work this week, so uh, yeah, can't wait to get going. And hopefully, hopefully set the tempo ahead of the, the, the concertina fixtures after Christmas, mm. if you can yeah. just win now and then. Well, yeah, you, games in quick succession, obviously if you get maximum points out of them, then it's, it's going to really uh, solidify our, our position right at the top uh, top end of the, the, the table. So uh, that's what we'll endeavour to do. We, we've got the capability of doing it, so we've got the talent, it's, it's up to us to produce. Okay, good. Pleasure. Pleasure.